So hey guys, it's me here, the Vistro FPS, and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about the Infinite Warfare beta. So I do know I covered this on my channel just about a few days ago, uh, but I thought, you know, I needed to cover this again. This is some vital information that you guys need to know about the beta. Now, I was pretty shocked when I seen this. I thought they would have given us, you know, a little bit more of a time span to sort of play the game, but it is very close to the actual release. You know, it's like mid-October, end of October. And the actual game comes out at the very start of November. Um, but anyways guys, so the Infinite Warfare beta is going to cover across two days. Yes, two days, you heard that right. Like I was saying just before, you know, I thought they would have given us more. But, you know, obviously it's too close to the game to sort of do that. And that is for PS4. That's going to go from the 14th to the 16th. And obviously Xbox will probably start, you know, on the 17th to the 19th. And I think that's sort of how this will work. But um, other than that guys, you know, I want to be telling you guys how to sort of prepare for the Infinite Warfare beta from sort of videos that I've watched from sort of YouTubers that played the game at XP like Akilio Expresso, ECT. Um, but anyways guys, so all these guys have sort of been saying, you know, that the movement does play a lot like Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And I think, you know, unless you know, you're very sort of, you know, haven't been paying much attention to the video, I didn't think you guys would sort of see this, but, you know, Infinite Warfare does look a lot like BO3, it's got the knee sliding, it's got the wall running, it's got the thruster jumps, not like an, like, you know, sort of like an advanced warfare jump where you can literally sort of bounce around the map like it's some sort of fucking basketball player or whatever. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that guys, but you know, it plays a lot like Black Ops 3. I think the only difference that Infinite Warfare movement's going to have to Black Ops 3 is that the Infinite Warfare jump sort of goes straight in a line, with the, like, you know, like... In a Black Ops 3, when he sort of used the first stage, you sort of go off to one side on an angle. So, you know, I do think, you know, the best way to sort of prepare and get a good start to the Infinite Warfare beta or the actual game, you know, whatever, guys, is to play Call of Duty Black Ops 3 to get used to that sort of, you know, brand new sort of advanced movement. And that's what I got for today, guys. So, I hope you guys do sort of do that and, you know, play BO3 because it's an absolute bummer when you get a bad start to the game, especially if you're someone like me. You like to go for sort of high KDs, you know, good win losses, high scoring gameplays and stuff. You know, it's very bad to sort of have bad stats, if you know what I mean. Like, it's a very horrible feeling. You feel literally shit. But anyways, guys, so hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please leave a like. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. And now you're being Vestro. And I will see you guys in the next one.